All right, today I am going to dissect, tear down, break down one of the best copies, sales copies ever written. Oh, and this sales copy has generated millions of dollars in revenue. It's one of the copies that I spent a lot of time learning from and I'm sure you will get to learn a lot from today's video. Oh, and before we begin, crush that subscribe button. All right, so welcome back. Now, this is the sales letter that I wanted to talk about and dissect for you guys in this video. This is one of my favorite sales copies it's by Gary Halbert and it's generated millions and millions of dollars in revenue. You can find this sales letter on swiped.co. Let's start with the prehead. So need some fast cash. Now, if you see here, the words like fast, easy, simple, quick, these words work really well when you're writing a sales copy because they reflect instant gratification. No one is going to be inspired to buy a product when you say something like, hey, you know what, you can get cash after 15 years, right? <laughs> so fast, quick, simple, these are words that inspire people to take action fast because they reflect instant gratification. And that's what Gary starts with sheer instant gratification. And of course, money is something that's always going to be inspiring to, to people, right? And then we move on to the main head, which is the amazing money making secret. So if you think of it, every sales copy has to have some sort of a secret, magic, formula, blueprint, you know, these words work really, really well because people want to try new products. People want to find new solutions. If it's an old solution, I do not care about it. Well, I'm talking it from people's perspective, how people think. So new always sells well. Plus, if there's a secret formula that nobody knows about, then it makes the product or whatever you're trying to sell even more appealing. So things like secret formula, blueprint, etc are always going to work well and that's what carry is using in the headline and of course it's a money making secret boy and you also see here the play of words where he says desperate nerd from ohio and here he's trying to play with the emotion that if a desperate nerd from ohio now think about it desperate in dire situation if he can figure it out you can absolutely do it, right? So here, all Gary's trying to do is, if I can do it, you can easily do it, right? So that's what he's trying to play around with here, which is really important when you're trying to write a copy. If I can do it, it's going to be a cakewalk for you, man, right? So that's what, so a really good, simple, but powerful headline here. So next we move on to the body of the copy or the lead which would be the right technical term when you write a sales copy. So in the lead, Gary starts with, hey, if you want to make a lot of money quickly, this is going to be the most exciting message you will ever read. And again, he's reiterating the big promise here. There's a big promise in the headline, but he is reiterating. And in the sales copy, the job of the current line is to make sure the reader is hooked and reads the next line and so on and so forth, right? So here he has a big promise, which is a reiteration to make sure that he's taking the reader to the next part of the sales letter. And then Gary starts with his backstory. Stories are really important. And I keep stressing about how stories are the most crucial aspect of any sales letter and how you need to work on developing characters and building the plots around the story and here you see Gary playing with the story and he starts with hey I'm Gary and you know I was dead broke and in the story you also need to make sure that you understand number one your audience really well where exactly are they at what are their pain points and then your story needs to connect their pain points so that they can relate to your story your story can't be about hey you know what i was overweight and then i lost weight here because 
hey your audience their pain point is not weight loss or not about health it's about making money right although you may have a great transformational story about weight loss but using that story here is completely out of context that's why it's really important that you take the time to understand your audience plot their pain points and then create a story that they could relate to so which is what you see here where gary talks about he was dead broke had no money to pay rent he was bankrupt and almost desperate right so he is telling his reader that hey if you do not have money i was in a worse place than you than you can imagine and you know i came out of it and i'm making money so hey this is going to work for you as well and then gary talks about hey one day i came up with this crazy idea now gary's done his homework he knows the kind of objections people would have and the product he's trying to sell people may think it's crazy and that's why he himself is calling the product crazy he's saying that hey i came up with this crazy idea so before the reader starts thinking that this is crazy it's not going to work he's saying it's crazy right so that's a great way of handling the objection and here he talks about hey i was living in the city and then my friends laughed at this idea that i came up with which was writing letters to make money they thought i was stupid i have no sense and one guy even said i was a silly nerd and they made fun of me right so everything that's going to happen to the reader and the thoughts that they are going to have when they think about this product hey i can make money writing letters that's not going to happen people will say it's stupid my family my friends will laugh at me and no no one can make money writing letters so he's handling that objection right then and there so which is a which is a great start in my book you want to handle the objections right off the bat and you want to keep addressing the thoughts that your readers will have in their mind right in your story and which is what gary is doing here and here he says hey i didn't care you know because i thought it was good idea and i started writing the letters and boom i was making money instantly right so he's handled the objection is connected with his readers in the story and handled the objection and now he's talking about the results and he here he talks about boom i got more than 7 million replies and again here the use of number 7 so if you are a copywriter i'm sure you're aware that number 7 9 and 5 get a lot of clicks so gary is talking about 7 million people wrote back to me which is great right and if all these people sent me checks that <laughs> kind of money that would be right he talks about it being a magic and the magic is not in the product but the letter and again if you see here the use of words like magic secret these words really work well in converting because people are always looking for the new secret formula the new magical formula that's going to make them money change their lives help them lose weight and so gary strategically used the word magic here now gary talks about who is this for and it's really important in marketing that your messaging is not for everybody it needs to speak to a certain audience and repel all the other people and gary here is making sure that hey this is for salesmen housewives you know if you own a furniture store or restaurant or dealership or if you're a manufacturer so he's really calling out his audience that hey this is for you if you're tired of you know as a doctor waiting and you know uh, working on patients one after the other working long hours or if you're a housewife and if you have unfulfilled dreams so he's calling out to the pain points asking them a question that hey what if you could do this if you could do things that i have done and make the kind of money that i have made with this so called crazy idea this is called setting up an hypnotic yes frame i talk about this in my copywriting course and hypnotic yes frames are really important it's basically trying to get your readers into a yes frame and so that they are more likely to eventually convert and buy your products or services or whatever you're pitching right so he's used the hypnotic yes frame here again a great play here and then he goes into introducing the product which is his book how to make money max money in minimum time again something people love instant gratification if it's going to happen quick in minimum time and i can make more i can lose more weight uh, instantly or you know in 30 days or in a very short period of time it's the product is going to be appealing and if it has secret magic and blah blah formulas then it makes the product even more appealing next carry goes back into the story again where he's talking about 
because here now he has to handle the objections that people may have with the book so he's go going back into the story mode and talking about hey i was a door to door salesman and you know my life was hell i was knocking on so many doors but how many doors could i knock on to right there was a finite capacity that and there was a ceiling to how much i could make as a door to door salesman it was a horrible way of making a living and that's why i came up with the secret because i was searching to change my ways to change my life and then i stumbled upon this secret and i called it the rcs formula which is the rcs secret and it's also in conjunction with killer advertising so if you see the terms like rcs these are called as branded terms terms that could be associated with you as an individual and they become a part of your identity again branded terms work really well in marketing and i talk about this in detail i think i have a one hour webinar in my copywriting course on how to create your own branded terms because branded terms are something that people can associate only with you and you are the inventor and creator of the branded term so to know more about the secret branded terms people need to buy your products and you know uh, sign you up so here he goes into the branded terms and how uh, rcs formula is just going to change your life no matter who you are again he's reiterating even if you're a housewife student or you're unemployed and then again a powerful subhead here which is more than 20000 checks per day again this is going in the realm of big promise and it's important that you give precise numbers that people can envision uh, get a lot of checks per day is very vague how many is a lot right now when he says 20000 checks per day people can imagine wow sitting with bundles of checks and not knowing what to do with them that's crazy money right so it's just taking people into an imaginative uh, future pacing and giving them a reference point to look at what their life could be like and here he's talking about hey you need to hire at least 30 full time people to just deposit these checks <laughs> which sounds so crazy <laughs> and then he goes into why you should buy the book gives you more reason in the form of bullet points and how to how to how to these are all bullet points the more you have these bullet points the better and it's an art to write bullet points if you see he has so many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and then he says um oh there's no space i could just go on and on and on about all the benefits you would have when you read the book and the best part about using the bullet points is you want to tease these are basically teasers hey in this page i have this for you but you're just saying the formula you are not giving them the formula on this page on this page on this page right so he's just teasing them that hey if you're not going to buy the book you're just going to miss all these secret and strategies and stuff that's in the book and then you talk about i could just go on and on but hey i have no space i'm running out of space here so hopefully you get the point and i have teased you enough to make sure you buy the book and then here comes the most important part which is a guarantee he's saying that you know what send me a check but send it send me a post dated check which is 30 days from today and try my book for 30 days if you do not like it no problem you know what send me the book back i won't deposit your check as simple as that you don't pay me a dime you try it for free crazy right so guarantees are really important and this is a very very innovative guarantee and there are so many other innovative guarantees used from in the past uh, which i will talk about in future videos but you know always find a way to come up with innovative guarantees where you take the risk away from your readers your customers shoulders and take it on your shoulders and here if you think of it it's a uh, no risk proposition for your reader because he just needs to order and if he doesn't like the product they can always send it back in 30 days but it will dramatically increase your conversion read the entire section carefully practice this by hand and i'm sure you'll become such a good copywriter just by practicing this one sales letter multiple times and writing it by hand multiple times and then you have all the other details and if you want extra fast service and if you want this to be sent you know immediately blah blah, blah you have all the other details and one more thing here gary here is building his authority by talking about you know his past boot camps people pay him $5000 to attend and uh, he gets paid $600000 for just one of his ideas and you no know, that's why when you buy his book for 19 uh, 15 dollar or whatever the price point uh, it's a crazy steal deal plus you have the no risk guarantee right so 
great sales copy there are so many great elements used i could just go on and on but no uh, i think the video will be just way too long so i have over 90 points and 90 strategies that were used in the sales copy and if you guys like the video i might do a full length video where i talk about all the 90 aspects used in the sales copy you can find the sales copy on swiped.co i hope you go check this copy out and a lot of other great copies and practice them by hand to become a good copywriter well i hope you got to learn a lot today and if you want me to do more of these videos and dissect more sales copies, make it a point to let me know in the comments so that I can keep that in mind for future videos. Alright, this is me Karan Dharamsi signing off for today.